talking about provoking your appointed time by the word of God. But before I start, let me open with prayer, then I'll go straight to it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you the glory. We thank you for what you are yet to do tonight, my Father, for we know our lives will never be the same again. You have spoken before, my Father. I know you are still going to speak. It is the time that you have appointed for us. It is such time as this time, my Father. I thank you for what you are yet to do, my Father, in everyone's life, my Father, that is listening and that is yet to hear what you are going to say tonight, my Father. I know lives are going to change. I know people are going to be impacted through your weight. And thank you for what you are yet to do in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to be preaching about provoking your appointed time by the word of God. Before I start, what is an appointed time? An appointed time, it is when God has overruled the time of men. It is when God has overruled what people say, what people think of you. It is when God corrects certain things to be fixed upon your life. Appointed time, it is when God settles certain matters in your life. When the appointed time has come upon one's life, it is when the Lord establishes you at the right time for your life. And when the, we talk about appointed time, it is the time that comes after longing for it. It is that time that you are saying, Lord, I've been waiting for you. When are you coming for my life? When are you coming to my family? That is when we are talking about the appointed time. Appointed time, it is that time that the Lord has set for you to receive back what you have lost appointed time it is that time when the lord has said for you and your family to receive what you have lost it means appointed time it is connected to restoration the bible speaks in the book of isaiah 60 verse 22 it says the smallest one will become thousand in a clan and the least one a mighty nation I, the Lord, will quicken it in its appointed time. The Lord is saying, those who are big who will be bigger, and those who are small will be great. I, the Lord, at the appointed time, I will make it happen. This means when the appointed time has come, it overrides the curses upon your family. When the appointed time has come, it I makes stop. everyone that it is makes nothing to become something. When the appointed time is come. It makes everyone in your family to become great. It does not matter what you are going through in life. It does not matter what was said in your life. Even when they said everyone in your family will not get married. Even when they said if everyone in your family will not study. Even when they said everyone in your family will not drive a car. Even when they said no one in your family will be great. But when we are talking about the appointed time, it does not matter who said it. The appointed time, it is that time when the Lord has ordained for you. It it will come to pass. Even when they said no one will study, will graduate, it will be minus you because your appointed time has come. When the appointed time has come, it is when the people who used to laugh at you before are quietened by the Lord. When the appointed time has come, it is that time when the Lord is saying, shine, my daughter, shine. When the appointed time has come, it is that time when the Lord is saying, become great, my daughter, become great. When the appointed time has come, it is that time when the Lord want to people to see his greatness. And I'm going to read for you the Bible in the book of Psalm 107, verse 20. The Bible says, He sent his word and healed them and rescued them from the, their distractions. He sent his word and healed them and rescued them from their distractions. And Psalm 102, verse 13, it says, Psalm 102 verse 13 it says you will arise and have mercy on Zion for it is the time to show favor for her at the appointed time has come where we have read from the bible says god sent his word and the word healed them god sent his word and the word rescued them from distractions this means the word of god it is what is healing people the word of god it is what is rescuing people from danger the word of god is what is rescuing people from distraction the word of god it is what is elevating people the word of god it is what is making people and when you go to psalm 102 the bible says 
Arise, O Lord. It is time to show her favor. For the appointed time has come. There is a time we have been, this is the time we have been waiting for. There is a time of favor. There is a time of healing. And when you look at the time, the time, the appointed time, it is always connected to the word of God. The time to arise, it is connected to God. The time for your favor, it is connected to the word of God. This is the time that we have been waiting for. The time for the favor of the Lord to be upon our lives. The time for healing to be upon our lives. The time for to rebuke witches that have been tormenting our lives. This is the time where the Lord has to be, it has to elevate us. This is the time that your family has been waiting for to shine. This is the time where you have been laughed at and you are about to come out as a great person. This is the time that you are about to say enough is enough. I know you might have been sick wherever you are, but in this time of the appointed time, enough is enough. What you have been waiting for, I come with the word of the Lord today. Whatever that has been tormenting you, enough it is enough. The time has come for you to rise. The time of God has come for you to be healed. The time of God has come for you to be somebody. The time of God has come for you to be lifted. We have to understand that there is power in the word of the Lord. We need to understand that there is restoration in there is restoration in the word of God. We need to understand that there is the appointed time in the word of God. The word of God is the major tool for your appointed time. Your appointed time resides inside the word of God. Your appointed time, it is what is making what, your appointed time, it is what has been made by the word of God. The word of God, it is what is making your appointed time to come to pass. So I want to speak to somebody today that I know there's a lot of things that you are believing God for. Do not look any further, child of God. Where you have to look at, you have to look in the word. And the word will push you. The word will escalate you. The word will elevate you. The word will lift you up for such time as this. Because this is the time that you have been waiting for. This is the appointed time for your family. I don't know who has laughed at you before. I don't know what you have suffered before. I don't know the sickness that has been tormenting your family. I don't know the cancer that has been ruling in your family. But I come with the word of God. The Bible says the word of God is here to heal us. Wherever you are, receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are, receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible speaks in the book of Genesis 1. Genesis 1 from 1 to 3. The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And I'm going to read for you again in the book of John 1 verse 1 to 5. I hope wherever you are, you are getting blessed. I hope wherever you are, you are getting blessed. John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 5. I will read it for you. The Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and he he was in the beginning with God all things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not apprehend it and Jeremiah verse 4 from 22 3 to 26, the Bible says, I beheld the earth, and indeed it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and indeed they trembled, and all the hills moved back and forth. I beheld, and indeed there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens had fled. I beheld, and indeed the fruit land was wilderness, and all its cities were broken down at the presence of the Lord by, the, by his face anger. Hallelujah. I hope somebody you are getting blessed. Where we have read from in the book of John 1, Amen. verse 5, the Bible says, In the beginning was the weight, and the weight was God. The word was with God. This means in the beginning of everything, 
it was the word of God. In the beginning of everything that you see in life, it was God. What you are seeing in your life in the beginning was the word. And that word was God. This means that in everything that we are going through, anything that we are seeing, God was the beginner of it. And if you look in Genesis 1, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was hovering and surface of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light and there was light. So it means when you look in John, the Bible says in the beginning was the word and the word was with it was God and the word was with God. And when you go to Genesis, the Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without, was formless and empty. So where we have read from, the Bible is telling us that in the beginning, when God was created, the heavens and the earth, God was the weight and God was with the weight. That is why we need the word for our appointed time. And when God was, up, was reforming the earth, because the Bible says when God created, the earth was formless and was empty. It means that the earth already was there, but it didn't have shape. The earth was shapeless. The earth was in the dark. So because God was in the way, was the word and the word was God, God had to speak a word. He he said, let there be light. He spoke the word inside on, on top of the earth. He released a word on earth and he said, let there be light. And the Bible says, the light, the light came and he saw light and he said, this is good. This means that whenever something is formless, whenever something is shapeless, all you need is the word of God. Because even when the earth was formless, the word was released. Even when the word was of void. The Bible says the word was released and everything became good. And if you look at it down there, it says on verse John 1 verse 5, it says, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And if you go again to Genesis 1, it says, let there be light, and there was light. It means that the, the earth lacked light. So it means some of us, we are here today. Our lives lack the light. And the Bible says the way are looking for the word. You do not need many things. All you need is the word of God for your life to be reshaped for your destiny to be reshaped. Where the earth was formless, God saw it a need to release a word. And when he released a word, this is when things came back to shape. This is when things came back to life. This is when things became brighter. I don't know in which area where you want your life to be bright. I don't know in which area where you want your life, life where you want your life to gather. But I release a word. Let there be light. Let there be shape. Let there be something great. Let there be restoration. Wherever you are, I don't know what you're believing God for, but there is a word that I come with. There is a word that I come with. And with that word, I know your life will never be the same again because it takes the word for appointed time to work. It takes the word for restoration to happen. It takes a word for something that is formless to be formed. It takes a word for for darkness to be replaced. It takes a word for light to come. I know where you are today. You are listening to me today. You are saying all I need is the light of God. I Let me assure you, child of God, it is now that the life will shine upon your life. That time that you have been waiting for, it is now. That time that you have been waiting for, it has come. Wherever you are listening me from, I am here to declare upon your life that the word is here to manifest in your life and i'm going to read for you the book of luke the book of luke 5 from verse 1 to 6 the bible says and it came to pass that as the people pressed up upon him to hear the word of god he stood by the lake of gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, 
and prayed him that he would thrust out a little form of the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Now when he, he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch unto the deep and let down your net for a drought. And Simon answered and said, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of the fishes and their net break. Where we have read from, we hear a story about a man by the name of Peter. The Bible says this man was a fisherman, and this man was toiling all night, and he caught nothing. And he was fishing throughout the night, and he caught nothing. And the Bible says he went and told, told the master, he told Jesus that, Master, I have toiled all night, and I have taken nothing home. And Jesus said, launch into the deep, and let your net for a drought. This means that Jesus released your word and said, Peter, I see you have struggled. Launch into the deep and see what will come out. And the Bible says, Peter said, no, nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. In your word, master, I will do it because what I've been waiting for, it is an appointed time that my word will come. This is what Peter was basically saying, that I've been waiting for a word like this. Nevertheless, at your word, I will do it. And the Bible says after he did so he enclosed a great multitude of fishes until the net break after he did that he enclosed a great multitude of fishes until the net break let me tell you child of god elevation happened instantly at the point of the word of god elevation happened immediately because of that word that the lord said launch into the deep peter received great multitude after the word was released, because the appointed time came when the word was released from toiling all night and getting nothing to breaking the net with fishes. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hope somebody is flowing with me. Wherever you are, I don't know where you have been toiling all night, but there is a water that I come with tonight. Launch into the deep. I come with the word that will supply all your needs. I come with the word that will elevate you from your failures. I come with the word that will break the spirit of working like an elephant and rip like an ant. I come with the word that will break that spirit of barrenness, that you will work all night and rip nothing. I come with the word that will break the spirit of poverty, that you will work all night and rip like an ant. I come with the word of God that will break the spirit of lack, that will break the spirit of failure that you will work and be defeated wherever you are in i don't know in which area you are suffering from but i come with the weight this is the time that you have been waiting for your elevation is now your elevation is now your elevation is now your elevation is now the Bible speaks about a man, a man by the name of Lazarus, that it came to a time where the sisters went to Jesus and told Jesus that Lazarus, your friend, is sick. We are about to lose him. And Jesus promised to come. Let me tell you, child of God, that promise was saying it is not yet the time for me to be there. There were people that wanted Jesus to come to Lazarus before the appointed time. Let me tell you, child of God, the Bible says there came a time time where they, we lost Lazarus. And when Jesus went there, they said, you have come very late. It is already four days. Right now we are sure that this man is smelling. Let me tell you, child of God, I don't know what is smelling in your life. I don't know why you have given up in your life. I don't know what people are saying. When the appointed time has come, or it overrides what people are thinking. When the appointed, come, when the appointed time comes, it it surpasses the minds of the people. People thought it was over with Lazarus. But let me tell you something. When Jesus got there, 
the only thing that he did, he said, Lazarus, come out. Let me tell you, all you need is the seat, is the word that will make you to come out of that situation. That will make you to come out of that poverty that is oppressing your family. That will make you to come out of the failures that you have inherited. The word that you are in need of tonight, it is the word that says, sister, come out. All that you need, you don't need many things. It does not matter when the helper comes. But one thing that I know is that the helper will come at the appointed time. As Jesus went at the appointed time. And when he got there, he released a word. He said, Lazarus, come out. Let me tell you, when the appointed come, when the appointed time comes, oh, no one can stop it. No one can stop it. The Bible says immediately when Jesus, when Lazarus came out, the Bible says Jesus says untie him. It means that this man was tied even when he was dead. That tying it was telling us that you are going nowhere. You will not even go anywhere even when you are dead. I don't know in which situation where your situation is tied, but I release the word of God. Loose right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You are becoming loose right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know where your destiny has been buried. I don't know where your things has been buried, but I come with the word of the Lord. Or wherever you are, I come with the word of the Lord. Come out and be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out and be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out and be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out and be loose in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know, I don't know what you are struggling with in your life. What you think it is over, Kayona. I keep every case in one another if I did like I can enjoy the motive today that whatever that was buried in your life, oh my God, it is coming back to life. 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 Whatever that people thought it is over, Mama Pilomba, how it is coming back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. It is coming back to life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible speaks in the book of John 2 verse 1 to 5. It speaks that there was a wedding in the corner of Galilee. During the celebration, the wine ran out. And as it ran out, the Bible says Jesus' mother went and he said, Jesus, the wine is running out. Jesus said, this is not yet the time. But I like what the mother said. The mother said, told the disciples that whatever that he says to you, please do it. Whatever that he says to you, please do it. Any word that he releases, please do it. Let me tell you somebody, there is a word that you need. There is a word that has to come upon your life. Even when the wine was about to run out, Jesus said it is not yet the appointed time, but because the word was released to him, it came. The appointed time came and they were at the edge where the celebration was about to be ruined. They were at the edge where people almost lost fun, but they, the word came and the lifting came. As the word came, the, immediately the wine was, we are calling So what I'm saying right now is that there are people that are waiting for you to be embarrassed. There are people that are waiting for you to receive shame. But let me tell you, God is not allowing it. The appointed time is now where the word of the Lord will manifest in your life. Or oh, I come with the word of the Lord today. Where they have laughed at you. Or oh, the Lord is elevating you. Where they have casted you down. Oh my God, you shall say there is a lifting up. Because there is the word of God that is coming upon your life now. There is the word of God that is coming upon your life now. If you go to the Bible in the book of John 5, the Bible speaks about a man. That's, the Bible speaks about the pool of Bethesda. It says in that pool, every year there was an event that was taking place. And the purpose of the event was to make people to jump inside the pool the first person that will jump inside that pool will get healed. So the purpose of the pool was for people to receive healing, but it, it depends on who jumps in it first. So once a year, an angel will come and stir the water. The one that jumps inside the water is the one that, that who jumps inside the water first is the one that will receive healing. But the Bible says there came a time when that there was a certain man that was ill that was that was important for, for 38 years as he was sitting there the bible says 
Jesus came and he looked at him. He said, man, do you want to get healed? He said, no, master, I've been here. Every year when I want to jump inside that pool, there's somebody that will jump before me. Every time when I want to jump inside the pool, there is somebody that jumps before me. That is why you are seeing me here. I've been here for 38 years. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, Jesus said, take your things and go. Stand up. Take your things and go. Stand up, take your things and go. There is a word that Jesus gave to that man. He has been in that situation for a longest time. But Jesus only released a word. Let me tell you, child of God, when the appointed time comes, protocol are jumped. People were queuing for the next event, but this man didn't queue. Jesus went straight to him because his appointed time was now. Let me tell you, child of God, those who waited, they waited for an angel, but Jesus himself didn't allow him to wait. Jesus himself allowed the man to receive the word. Let me tell you, child of God, all you need, it is the word of God. You do not need many things. I don't know in which area of your life when I can hallow to Shikarayon. I can say, 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 but when I see this man, he was in that situation for 38 years. Baba, we our challenges, we have inherited them. Baba, we have been in this situation for a longest time. Baba, we have been in our families are not getting married. And we are even comfortable in a way that we know that in our family, we don't get Merit. Baba Mubar, now we are used to the fact that in our families are really bad. Baba Mubar, now we are used to the fact that in our families are not the business. But I release your weight. Wherever you are, take your things and go. Take your things and go. All you need it is the word of God because this is the time that you have been waiting for. You have you have been not waiting for anything, but you have been waiting for a time like this for the word of the Lord. Or oh, wherever you are, take your things and go. This man didn't wait. Oh my God. I don't know if you have been waiting for an interview for a longest time, but after today, I pray for somebody that whatever that you have been waiting for, it is coming to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that you have been waiting for, and it is not coming to pass, many people are coming ahead of you. I release the weight right now, wherever your CVs are, queuing for the next event, wherever we are pulling it by the word of the Lord, it is coming to you right now. It is coming to you right now. It is coming to you right now. I know many things have been in a queue, waiting for a job, waiting to be selected. But today you are not going to wait. From today you are not going to wait. If people receive calls between Monday and Friday for employment, yes, it will be a different one. You will also receive a call after hours because God wants to show you that it is an appointed time. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what has not been working in your life. I don't know who cursed you before now. I don't know who cast your family before now, but I come with the word of the Lord. Whatever that was done in you, in you and your family, we reverse it in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that was done between you and your family, we reverse it in the mighty name of Jesus. I come with the word of the Lord. I remove you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I come as a woman of the Lord today. Get whatever that has not been working before now. Oh, this is the time that you have been waiting for. I release the word and the word of the Lord is permanent. And the word of the Lord is permanent. And the word of the Lord is permanent. I release the word. What you have been waiting for. It is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a scripture in the book of Luke. Luke chapter 1 from verse 1. And we are going to, if I want you to read it because it's long, I cannot read it. Look, Luke chapter 1 from verse, from verse 5 to Luke chapter 2 verse 20. The Bible speaks about a woman. A woman by the name of Elizabeth. 
The Bible says this woman was barren. This woman was barren. And as she was barren, the Bible says, at the appointed time, the angel of the Lord came to her and said, next time this year, you shall receive a baby boy. You shall conceive a baby boy and name him John. Hallelujah. Next time this year, you shall conceive a baby boy and name him John. And the Bible says, indeed, the woman was excited. And the Bible says, when the family had this, or oh, they went, they got that. They said, we cannot name our son John because in our family, we don't have anyone by the name of John. We cannot name this young man John because in our family, we don't have anyone by the name of John. Let me tell you, child of God, the Bible says, it continued by saying, because of them not saying, because of the father not, because of the father saying we don't have a John. The Bible says, Mudimu amu tswale la mulom, or ahono obule la chachile o atlodume la ngoro wana ki John. Eriko obote. This scripture is telling us that Huna Nesia Moselen Halolen Karason. Kana ko yama leva at the appointed time when you are supposed to come out of that situation. There are people that will oppose your appointed time. But let me tell you, child of God, it does not matter who is gathering and where. The Bible says they have gathered. But the Lord made sure that he quietened the father because he knew that if he if I cannot quieten him, he will continue uttering a negativity. I don't know the gathering that is taking place on your behalf. I don't know the gathering that is taking place to oppose you. I don't know the gathering that is taking place to fight what the Lord has upon your life. Oh, Baba Ngubali Nabarile, we don't have a great man of God in our family. Baba Ngubali Nabarile, we don't have a business person in our family. Baba Ngubali Nabarile, we don't have a graduate in our family. There is no way that we can have a graduate. Baba Ngubali Nabarile, we don't have somebody that have children in this family. We cannot have somebody that is married and have children. Oh, I come with the word of the Lord. Any which, anyway that has gathered against your name. And they make sure that you are in that position, you are stuck in that position. Wherever they are, we are releasing the fire of the Lord. We are releasing the word of the Lord. Wherever they are, may they be quiet until you succeed. I come with the word of the Lord. This is the time that you have been waiting for. This is the time that you have been waiting for. This is the time that you have been waiting for. I don't know the John that you have been waiting for. Oh my God, it's like I can see Elizabeth. Knowing that she was barren for a longest time, and when she heard that she's about to conceive a child by the name of John, she was more excited. But when the family began to oppose it, or oh, it's like if it was me, children of God, I don't know relaying. But there is a word that the Lord has for you today. Or it does not matter who is gathering and where. But it does not matter anymore. After tonight, Mudumuka was Twalla Milom. After tonight, Mudumuka was Palisha Wood and Tavana. After tonight, the Lord will quieten their mouth. After tonight, the Lord will show them that He is God. I keep saying, I keep saying, I or King Yahweh about Twaletting. I keep saying, Yabaruano Castebayona. I keep saying, Yabaruano Capalola Huyona. Oh my God, I keep the world about Chilalina and Lacey. Lauruana, Palavana, Baba Governor Rueli Maina, Maina Nersa, Tonaria Rueli, Baba Governor Torsiamo, Tenersa, Tonaria Son. But I am preaching to you today. I prophesy upon your life whatever that was not working before now. Oh, your time has come. Libra to Catabaya, Libra to Candila Catabaya, Lacrosuka, 
Just imagine if John was not named John. Just imagine if John is John. O kana bana Justin ni chama na ba bango di tuale nechi. Kale ba kala there is an opposite person. There is an opposite of Justin. John was named John because they knew that he is the Baptist. They knew that is the one that has to baptize Jesus. That name was suitable for him. Erke obuta mwana shu. Wana lo wana utwana choke unyalo. Kago utwana choke ubuta masamama. Wana lo wana utwana choke bali business. Kago utwana choke yano be uri si presenta ni entrepreneurs. Wana lo wana utwana choke ubereke. Kago wati zeba uba an employee. Mara wana le mo loya ya mimpele ya gao. Aru wana ukase chwele. Aru wana ukase ubereke. Aru wana ukase nyale. Aru wana ukase chwele. Oh, I pray over your life today. That curse that was released upon you and your family, it is broken today. It is broken today. It is broken Amen. today. It is broken Amen. today. It is broken today. Yes. Baba Webalina, you find yourself in marriage, but you do not enjoy that marriage because you never need anyone else. But I cannot come out with a human. 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 I cannot Whatever that you are Amen. believing God for, it is coming back to you. I'm praying for marriages wherever you are. I am praying for you. May you experience the peace of the Lord. May you experience the peace of the Lord. And I want to pray for people. I want you to put your hand wherever you are feeling pain. Or wherever you are, any sickness. The Bible says, with the word of the Lord, we are healed. Oh, I pray for you wherever you are. That demonic pain that is not supposed to be in your system. The Lord created the heavens and the earth as a creature. Pain I cast that pain out in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that is not supposed to be in your system, right now I approach it in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever that is not supposed to be in your system, right now I cast it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Accepting my will on hold. Oh, when I saw a telephone, when I saw a national family, you cannot be on hold. Oh, I speak release. I speak release. I speak release. I speak release. I speak release in the mighty name of Jesus. Mama Saru Bonin won a Shiva Torobon. Mama Saru Bonin won a Shiva Torobon. Mama Saru Bonin won a Shiva Torobon. Family Abula, there was a woman who suffered. The woman with the issue of blood. Family, I will allow an aquaca jesu, a roquaca jesu amulatel. Hamulatel, when she followed Jesus, the Bible says, as she was trying to attend the crowd, the crowd of her jesu, the disciples in the Babu Chibela can Erika Obucha one is one of the Batuabana Kuyamo and Otanito Yawan. One of the Batuaba in Pilia Brick to Riahau. But right now, I'm praying right now. Who are so mela, Galina Lachesh? I'm releasing your words. We are so mellow. We're not going to let them run us. We're not going to let them run us. We're not going to let them run us. Live and never be ruined. We're not going to let them run us. We're not going to let them run us. Family, I will let there was a man by the name of Zacchaeus. The Bible says that man, when she, he heard about Jesus, who Jesus was in the city, that man followed where Jesus was. And the Bible says that man couldn't see Jesus there because this man was very short. And the Bible says he went ahead of the crowd. He climbed the tree. And the Bible says as Jesus was passing under the tree, he saw him, he said, who is there? Zacchaeus, come down. The Bible says, I tell Zacchaeus, I tell her, Bible, I will lay a mother tonight. I will feast in your house, I will eat supper in your house. Erica Obucha Wanda Show. If you read the story of Zacchaeus, you will begin to realize that Zacchaeus and Nesaman now are all local. Zacchaeus and Nesaman now make own, but because of him following where the work is, at the appointed time, he went and followed Christ, and Christ released the word that come down, Zacchaeus. It does not matter what you have been through. It does 
does not matter the challenges of your family. Oh, I am here. I will come to your house. Where now where you are, all you need is Jesus to visit your family. Right now, wherever you are, oh, I release your word. Jesus will enter your family tonight. Jesus will enter your family tonight. Because Amen. you are appointed time. Amen. Your time has come. You have struggled, it is enough. It is enough. Manasa, it is enough. You are receiving your testimony because it is your appointed time. This is the time that you have been waiting for. This is the time that you have been waiting for. This is the time that you have been waiting for. Oh, Libra, Tuka, Tubayanda. Mandelia katala baba baya katabaya ropo tui kataba bayanda. I'm praying for somebody right now. This person okay, Mrapala land right now. You have pains right now in your abdominal area. Wherever you are, I just want you to touch it. I'm praying for you. Receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the healing in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare upon marriages. Peace, it is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. And wherever you are, I just want us to continue praying. Oh Lord, may this word be for me in the mighty name of Jesus. May your word manifest in my life now. May your word manifest in my life now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us open our mouth and pray. Libra to Kataba.